Well, we're leaving Bucksworth Basin today. Um, actually overstayed a welcome by a few hours. Uh, and I can't wait, to be honest. It's a, Bucksworth Basin's quite a nice place. If it wasn't for the A6 that runs there, and there's just a continuous rumble of HGVs. I don't like it. Uh, Whaley Bridge. Maybe it'd be different in the sunshine, I don't know. But for me, not my cup of tea. I'm going out to find somewhere quiet. Woodend lift bridge number 24 on the Peak Forest Canal. Been at this uh, mooring for a couple of days because it is so lovely and uh, setting off today, Sunday. And look at those views, absolutely beautiful. Um, setting off today to uh, Marple to do the 16 locks, but first, got to turn left onto the Macclesfield canal to get some water and um, other little jobs you don't need to know about and uh, it should be a nice day of cruising through the 16 locks and then um, rest that uh, should be there about four-ish I think the other end we'll see noisy buggers
We arrived at the top lock, number 16, just before midday. Due to water shortages, the CRT asked that boats start the flight no later than 12 and get through and out the other side by 4 o'clock. Some of the gates were so seriously leaking, they were almost filling the lock as fast as we were emptying them. No wonder there's a shortage. There were lots and lots of walkers and families out on what turned into a beautiful day, so no shortage of volunteers to open or close the gates. Theo and Esme were two youngsters who saw us through a few of the locks, so with their mum's permission, I gave them a little ride on the boat so they could experience going down the 12, 13 feet and coming out the other side. Fist bump to Theo and Esme. Emerging from the bottom lock, you come into a beautiful pound and then almost immediately pass over the aqueduct. The first time you see it, it takes a little while to absorb it all, take it all in. 